most wanted cartoon in Guyana for many reasons. Today, we're trending number and make a report to the police fun week. All the details started. Show newspapers today to see what's trending in the news. And there is Guyana Uncut. This stink, piss up face, shit mouth, pimple dick, stunt hole. Went and make a report to the Rhinebelt police station and call up, call up we name and got the police intensifying their search for the location of Stunville. Y'all come here, Stunty. Most wanted cartoon in Guyana for many reasons. Today, we're trending number and make a report to the police fun week. All the details started. Show newspapers today to see what's trending in the news. And there is Guyana Uncut. This stink, piss up face, shit mouth, pimple dick, stunt hole. Went and make a report to the Rhinebelt police station and call up, call up we name and got the police intensifying their search for the location of Stunville. Y'all come here, Stunty. Most wanted cartoon in Guyana for many reasons. Today, we're trending number and make a report to the police fun week. All the details started. Show newspapers today to see what's trending in the news. And there is Guyana Uncut. This stink, piss up face, shit mouth, pimple dick, stunt hole. Went and make a report to the Rhinebelt police station and call up, call up we name and got the police intensifying their search for the location of Stunville. Y'all come here, Stunty. Convicted drug trafficker Roger Khan has filed a cybercrime report against individuals involved in the leaking of a sex tape that reportedly featured him. It didn't reportedly feature him. It featured the mother stun because we could clearly see the face getting pissed on. Anyways, a few days ago, a video was released on social media along with screen grabs by Guyana Uncut, a popular social media site with 237,000 followers. You see what I'm telling you about this light or newspaper? It's actually 224,000 followers, you stunt. But thanks. The site reportedly released the explicit content on its Telegram channel, known as The Underworld. It's the Mudwater Underworld, you mud stunt. According to sources, the site charges a fee to view the leaked tape. That is inaccurate. We charge a fee to enter the underworld, and wherever the stunt leak in their leak, because users could post their own content as well. So I get a fact straight. Can reportedly did not consent to the release of the video and has filed a police complaint against the woman seen in the video and other individuals he believes are blah blah blah. Let me tell you all this. The police got a work for do and we got we work for do. Without Guyana Uncut, a lot of scunts would have never seen the light of day. Guyana Uncut is the largest Guyanese YouTube channel and we will soon be the most followed Guyanese Facebook page. The police thought they caught the owner of Guyana Uncut back in 2022 and looked fully done in the court. I gotta find out what happened to the case. How we set up this platform, it could never be shut down by the authorities in Guyana. And we don't just come out and terror innocent people just like that. Everyone that was featured on Guyana Uncut had it mother stunt coming. I'll dare anyone to find an instance where we tormented an innocent person. Look at the people that coming after we and you will see a pattern. Marcus Bisram, Tamish Jagmohan, Raja Khan, Leroy Big Shit Smith, Guyanese Shitix. Otisha is a set of fucking anti-man and drug dealers that we exposed and we will continue to tear the mother stunt. Now back to King Pimple Dick. I see a lot of people showing sympathy for this crap. Ever since the first video we featured him in since 6 years ago. The problem with many Guyanese is that they suffer memory loss. It seems like everyone forgot that Roger Khan was the most complete criminal in Guyana who controlled everything during his reign all the way up to government. Watch this refresher post wanted cartoon in Guyana for many reasons. Today, we're trending number and make a report to the police fun week. All the details started. Show newspapers today to see what's trending in the news. And there is Guyana Uncut. This stink, piss up face, shit mouth, pimple dick, stunt hole. Went and make a report to the Rhinebelt police station and call up, call up we name and got the police intensifying their search for the location of Stunville. Y'all come here, Stunty. Convicted drug trafficker Roger Khan has filed a cybercrime report against individuals involved in the leaking of a sex tape that reportedly featured him. It didn't reportedly feature him. It featured the mother stun because we could clearly see the face getting pissed on. Anyways, a few days ago, a video was released on social media along with screen grabs by Guyana Uncut, a popular social media site with 237,000 followers. You see what I'm telling you about this light or newspaper? It's actually 224,000 followers, you stunt. But thanks. The site reportedly released the explicit content on its Telegram channel, known as The Underworld. It's the Mudwater Underworld, you mother stunt. According to sources, 
the site charges a fee to view the leaked tape. That is inaccurate. We charge a fee to enter the underworld, and wherever the skunt leak in their leak, because users could post their own content as well. So I get our facts straight. Khan reportedly did not consent to the release of the video and has filed a police complaint against the woman seen in the video. Anyone who lived through the days with death squad, every day when you wake up, somebody get killed by the police or the police kill somebody or somebody kill the police and the back and forth between the Phantom and the death squad and the escapees and this and that and Saturday Osa and everybody allegedly getting taken out by the death squad and so much confusion in the country at that time. Remember the song, How Many More? And they were showing all the people that had been killed and all that stuff. Who remember them times there? Them times was chaotic times. Them times was crazy times in the country. I was in high school at that time. So I remember this. And this situation was one that was second to none in the country. And Raja was at the center of it. At the center. He was the big man and then these days. Even to the point where it was said that he was responsible at one time, allegedly, for paying the salaries of all the public servants. A thing that I never heard of before ever. And then you know, I never heard of again. The situation was beyond. So when he finally was sentenced, and persons realized how small of a sentence he was given, everybody was blown by it. But I'm guessing that money stretched long, and that money reached far. You know what I'm saying? So this situation here with him and these tapes and the stuff that's been going on as of recent is kind of out of character because. He was never a laughing stock of the community. He was never the butt of no one's joke. If anything, you don't want to hear his name and yours in the same sentence at a certain time because you know it's a dangerous, allegedly, a dangerous set of squad that's going to come for you and anything around you. But these days, man, it's just a whole lot of foolishness going on. I mean... I hear about the video, I hear about the video, but I ain't seen the video yet, you know, to be honest with you. I'll be completely honest, I ain't seen the video yet. Because when I was supposed to see the video now, I was eating. And I was eating me favorite. You see what I'm saying? I was eating dal and saltfish at that time. And I had me nice, well, we don't get edo leaf over here, so we use spinach. So I got me nice spinach and everything on the side of my plate and I like me doll, you know what I'm saying, all over the quinoa. I don't use one, so I got me doll all over me quinoa and it's swimming. So I couldn't really watch that video there at that time. You see what I'm saying? Because I was enjoying I me. Mean, that was my favorite meal and I was enjoying it at that time. And then it didn't come up again if I really peep the video, but I hear the video is very terrible. It's very terrible. And you know, it's crazy to think that a person that would have held that much fear in the hearts of persons in them would now be the butt of the jokes. It just goes to show you in life, right? Life, you never know, right? This thing called life. I don't know how true it is about the allegations with the extortion situation between me and Mudwater. I don't know how Raj is ever going to be able to prove who Mudwater is and all of the confusion there from back in them couple of years. People trying to prove who Mudwater is. And it's going to be an interesting case as it moves forward. Trust me, we're going to follow this all the way to the end because this is entertaining and this is dealing with some very prominent brothers of the demographic. So we must cover this and make sure that we got up-to-date coverage as it moves forward because I know there's more to come about more to come in this I know there's more to come because Mudwater look like if he's easing up and if Raja is anything like we know him to be in the past I don't think that he's gonna ease up either so we aim for some entertainment
Let's have a conversation about this in the comment section. Let's talk about this situation. What do you think about this? Anybody who lived through the days with the death squad, every day when you wake up, somebody get killed by the police or the police kill somebody or somebody kill the police and the back and forth between the Phantom and the Dead Squad and the escapees and this and that and Saturday Osan, everybody allegedly getting taken out by the Dead Squad and so much confusion in the country at that time. Remember the song, How Many More? And they were showing all the people that have been killed and all that stuff. Who remember them times though? Them times was chaotic times. Them times was crazy times in the country. I was in high school at that time. So I remember this. And this situation was one that was second to none in the country. And Roger was at the center of it. At the center. He was the big man. And then the, the, even to the point where it was said that he was responsible at one time, allegedly, for paying the salaries of all the public servants. A thing that I never heard of before ever. And, you know, I never heard of again. The situation was beyond. So when he finally was sentenced, and persons realized how small of a sentence he was given, everybody was blown by it. But I'm guessing, that money stretched long, and that money reached far, you know what I'm saying? So, this situation here with him and these tapes and the stuff that's been going on as of recent is kind of out of character because he was never a laughing stock of the community. He was never the butt of no one's joke. If anything, you don't want to hear his name and yours in the same sentence at a certain time because you know that dangerous allegedly a dangerous set of squad that's gonna come for you and anything around you but these days man it's just a whole lot of foolishness going on i mean i hear about the video i hear about the video but i ain't seen the video yet you know to be honest with you i'll be completely honest i ain't seen the video yet because when i was supposed to see the video now i was eating and I was eating my favorite. You see what I'm saying? I was eating dal and saltfish at that time. And I had me nice. Well, we don't get edo leaf over here. So we use spinach. So I got me nice spinach and everything on the side of my plate. And I like me dal, you know what I'm saying? All over the quinoa. I don't use rice. I got me dal all over me quinoa and it's swimming. So I couldn't really watch that video there at that time. You see what I'm saying? Because it was enjoying, I mean, that was my favorite meal and I was enjoying it at that time. And then it didn't come up again if I really peep the video, but I hear the video is very terrible. It's very terrible. And, you know, it's crazy to think that a person that would have held that much fear in the hearts of persons in Diana would know be the butt of the jokes it just goes to show you in life right life you never know right this thing called life i don't know how true it is about the allegations with the extortion situation between me and mudwater i don't know how Rogers is ever going to be able to prove who mudwater is and all of that confusion there from back in them couple of years people trying to prove who mudwater is and it's going to be an interesting case as it moves forward. Trust me, we're going to follow this all the way to the end because this is entertaining and this is dealing with some very prominent brothers of the demographic. So we must cover this and make sure that we got up-to-date coverage as it moves forward because I know there's more to come about, more to come in this. I know there's more to come because Mudwater look like if he's easing up, and if Raja is anything like we know him to be in the past, I don't think that he's going to ease up either. So we in for some entertainment. Let's have a conversation about this in the comment section. Let's talk about this situation. What do you think about this? Anybody 
who live through the days with the death squad. Every day when you wake up, somebody get killed by the police or the police kill somebody or somebody kill a police and the back and forth between the Phantom and the Death Squad and the SKPs and this and that and Saturday or San, everybody allegedly getting taken out by the Death Squad and so much confusion in the country at that time. Remember the song, How Many More? And they were showing all the people that had been killed and all that stuff. Who remember them times though? Them times was chaotic times. Them times was crazy times in the country. I was in high school at that time. So I remember this. And this situation was one that was second to none in the country. And Roger was at the center of it. At the center. He was the big man and then the, the, even to the point where he was said that he was responsible at one time, allegedly, for paying the salaries of all the public servants. A thing that I never heard of before ever. And then I never heard of again. The situation was beyond. So when he finally was sentenced, and Persons realized how small of a sentence he was given, everybody was blown by it. But I'm guessing that money stretched long and that money reached far. You know what I'm saying? So this situation here with him and these tapes and the stuff that's been going on as of recent is kind of out of character because he was never a laughing stock of the community. He was never the butt of no one's joke. If anything, you don't want to hear his name and yours in the same sentence at a certain time because you know that dangerous allegedly a dangerous set of squad that's gonna come for you and anything around you but these days man it's just a whole lot of foolishness going on i mean i hear about the video i hear about the video but i ain't seen the video yet you know to be honest with you i'll be completely honest i ain't seen the video yet because when i was supposed to see the video now i was eating and i was eating my favorite you see what I'm saying? I was eating dal and salt fish at that time and I had me nice, well we don't get edo leaf over here so we use spinach. So I got me nice spinach and everything on the side of my plate and I like me dal, you know what I'm saying, all over the quinoa. I don't use rice. So I got me dal all over me quinoa and it's swimming. So I couldn't really watch that video there at that time. You see what I'm saying? Because it was enjoying I me. Mean, that was my favorite meal and I was enjoying it at that time. And then it didn't come up again if I really peep the video. But I hear the video is very terrible. It's very terrible. And you know, it's crazy to think that a person that would have held that much fear in the hearts of persons in Ghana would know be the butt of the jokes. It just goes to show you in life, right? Life, you never know, right? This thing called life. I don't know how true it is about the allegations with the extortion situation between me and Mudwater. I don't know how Roger's ever going to be able to prove who Mudwater is and all of that confusion there from back in them couple of years. People try to prove who Mudwater is. And it's going to be an interesting case as it moves forward. Trust me, we're going to follow this all the way to the end because this is entertaining and this is dealing with some very prominent brothers of the demographic. So we must cover this and make sure that we got an up-to-date coverage as it moves forward. Because I know there's more to come about, more to come in this. I know there's more to come because Mudwater looks like if he's easing up, and if Roger is anything like we know him to be in the past, I don't think that he's going to eat up either. So we're in for some entertainment. Let's have a conversation about this in the comment section. Let's talk about this situation. What do you think about this? Anybody who lived through the days with that squad, every day when you wake up, somebody get killed by the police or the police kill somebody or somebody kill a police 
and the back and forth between the Phantom and the Dead Squad and the SKPs and this and that and Saturday Osa and everybody allegedly getting taken out by the Dead Squad and so much confusion in the country at that time. Remember the song, How Many More? And they were showing all the people that had been killed and all of that stuff. Who remember them times there? Them times was chaotic times. Them times was crazy times in the country. I was in high school at that time. So I remember this. And this situation was one that was second to none in the country. And Roger was at the center of it. At the center. He was the big man. And then the, the, even to the point where he was said that he was responsible at one time, allegedly, for paying the salaries of all the public servants. A thing that I never heard of before ever. And you know, I never heard of again. The situation was beyond. So when he finally was sentenced and persons realized how small of a sentence he was given, everybody was blown by it. But I'm guessing that money stretched long and that money reached far. You know what I'm saying? So this situation here with him and these tapes and the stuff that's been going on as of recent is kind of out of character because he was never a laughing stock of the community. He was never the butt of no one's joke. If anything, you don't want to hear his name and yours in the same sentence at a certain time because you know that dangerous allegedly a dangerous set of squad that's gonna come for you and anything around you but these days man it's just a whole lot of foolishness going on i mean i hear about the video i hear about the video but i ain't seen the video yet you know to be honest with you i'll be completely honest i ain't seen the video yet i think in our conversation the fact that we as guyanese do not feel the man in the street does not feel that he or she owns the country and it comes i know that i spoke about history yesterday i am a history buff i'm not a historian but i understand how understanding your history can motivate you to take action i listened um about a few months ago right after the local government elections uh, someone went into um, Melanie Damshana, late in the evening, opposite, from the government side, looking, I don't know what for, but that person was confronted by a group of people who said, you can't come here. And one of the young women said, you know, I know my history. I know who Kofi was, and I am going to stand and fight. She cited history as her motivation for taking action, right? We have the, we are, we are, um, have the handicap of not having our history truly taught in our schools. It's the same history that the British taught to keep us in our place. Want to thank you for making it this far in the video, but could you please take a few seconds, if you haven't already, to drop us a like. It really helps to promote this content in the algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. It costs you nothing. And you'll be able to have a notification every time we drop content like this. I'll wait. Thanks. Right back into the content.